That little thing. There it is. You don't want to see me. You want to see the hummingbird. Actually, that's what I've been doing today. Just sitting and enjoying the hummingbird. You know, I need to get a better camera so I can adjust where I, I want to put the camera. And I should let Gary know that we're live. He never knows what I'm going to do. So I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm actually going to go in the garden. I'm not going to stay alive long. And I figured I, it was just so pretty. Let me pick this up. Yeah, isn't this pretty? I was not going to go live. Actually, I was working on a video. Let me move this. Moving my stuff. I was working on a video and I've been sitting here with the hummingbirds and I thought, you know, I'm going to have a glass of water and I'm going to enjoy the hummingbirds for a few minutes before I go in the garden. Oh, Gary just figured out that we're live. He let me know that he knows. He's, he's out working in the garden. So, and Walmart has delivered my order. <laughs> hello, Connie. I know I'm missing. Hello, Ken. I wasn't even, Heidi, Sher, Sheru. Let's see. I'm, I know I'm going to miss a lot of you. I'm just trying to just hang out on such a beautiful day, winter. And I'm not trying to show off the day because I really feel for all of you that are under snow and that terrible ice storm going through, I am so, so sorry. You know, this, hi Sharon, this winter has been pretty warm. It started off a little bit cold and then it's warmed up. Oh, look at this. Now, that's what I want to talk about. I was working on a video. See the hummingbird feeding? Those are the dollar ones, the ones you can get at the 99 cent store. Now, I think Dollar Tree is going to be a dollar 25 now. So it's an extra quarter. But the 99 cent store, we went the other day and I bought a case. I bought a dozen of them. I usually go around trying to fix them. The top breaks, and then I try to fix that. I duct tape it. Yes, I duct tape it. The dollar ones. And I do all kinds of stuff to it. And then I thought, no, I haven't been to a 99 cent store in almost two years. So I bought a dozen and the other ones are going to be recycled out in the plastic bin. So they're going. Look at this. Isn't that cool? So if you're looking for hummingbird feeders, I know Mary, you may, is it Mary? I'm trying to not knock anybody. Yes, Mary. You may not have hummingbirds yet, but the thing is, sometimes your stores get them in, and if they sell out and they don't get another shipment, there's a lot of shortages of this year, then you may not get it. So if you see them, grab a couple of them. It's worth it. They last about a year or two. You know, I mean, they, they do break from the sun. Yes, Walmart, we know my groceries have been delivered. Yes, my groceries. I ordered lollipops. Did you order lollipops? Yes. It, you know, it's nice to suck on a lollipop when you've been through, you know, a little bit. So it's nice for your throat. And I'm going to carry lollipops when I go to the store. Anyways, now I forgot what I was saying. The point is, there's been a shortage, so they're hard to get things. So if you see something, just get it. Oh, you're all coming in so fast. There is no way... I am going to be able to go through all this. You do know that. So please bear with me. If I miss a name, I never mean to miss a name no matter what. Ken, you just got notification. You, you, I just got on. I mean, Gary just figured out I'm on. Uh, Car, Gary's so good at names. K-A-R-O-L-O-D-O-M. Hello, Sharon. I said hello. Where have you been missing? Where have I been? Hopefully you're talking to somebody else. I've been around. Uh, we had a little bit of a setback, but otherwise we're fine now. Gary and I, Annie, hello from Rhode Island. Oh, you're so cold. I feel for you. I wish I could send you some of the heat. Just a little. I don't want to send all my heat. We're actually going to be, like they say, 80 today. The Front Porch Gardener. Yay. Hello, Mary Kay, uh, or Carr. Carr. Uh, I'm trying to get through everybody. Brenda, and then it's just going to roll again on me. Oh, Connie, you uncovered your plants. I'm going to make a um, cold frame outside and start some seeds pretty soon for five bucks. I don't think I did that video. You know, there's a lot of times I'm going to go do a video. I do it and then I forget to put it up. Heidi, hello. You can't wait for the hummingbird. You know, they'll be here before you know it. Hello, Ben Dingo. The thing is, you want to get your feeder. If you don't have the feeders already, 
then you want to get them, you know, if you go to the dollar store, we order ours online from the Dollar Tree. Yeah, I think you can. You're right. Thanks for letting people know. I've never done that. Because, like I said, there's been a shortage of a lot of stuff. I don't know why I'm showing that window. And this way you want to make sure you've got it. So, like I said, I bought a dozen of them. And I bought them at the 99 cent store, but they may go to Dollar... Well, I'm going to go to Dollar Tree anyways. They've got some trash cans I want. Geraldine, you've got... Oh, you've got snow. I'm sorry. It can be pretty. Stay warm. Enjoy the, the weather as you have it. And then enjoy it more when spring comes. Um, let's see, Brenda, I get four years. Oh, so you got four years out of these? Larry, hello, Connie, okay, and then I got you. Did you hear, uh-oh, did you hear that buddies? I don't know what buddies are. Did you hear that buddies, new feeders, are on the way, I'm in Central North Carolina. Well, that's what I'm saying, get the feeders when you can. Hello, Mary Jane. Sunshine Country ki Chickens. I almost said kitchen. Um, it's Carol. Carol sounds easy. I can do that. Can't wait for 80. I know. Could you imagine? It's supposed to be really warm all this week. Oh, they all left. Well, what they're doing now, hi, Sherry. They're not Sally. Hello from Louisiana. I, I think I got you, Heidi, before. Zone 7. Okay, you'll warm up soon. That's the, the porch, uh, the kitchen, ah, the, the front porch gardener. Okay, I'm gonna just go through this. Susie, okay, good, from Alabama. Tonya, Tanya, T-O-N-I-A, hello, a member. You know, I'll tell you what I'm gonna try to do. I'm going to try to go at least once a month, if not more, and just have like coffee with the members, do something. Or just sit out in the garden for 15 minutes here and there and maybe just chit chat for a while. I'm going to work on that. So I hope to do 6A, Michigan, you're cold. So I'm going to see if I can do that soon. Hit this. But I just wanted to make sure if you've got a Dollar Tree, a 99 cent store, a general, uh, even generic dollar stores, get them in, get your feeders. And then you know how I see the pipe cleaner. I usually use bread ties, piece of wire, doesn't matter and just wrap it around the flower. Oh, that was a good thing I was gonna show. Wrap it around the flower and you can make a little seat for them so they can hang out. I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't. This was just put up and it's dirty. It got dirty right away. The hummingbirds, so not everything you see is black bolt. Let me back up, I'm on a rolling chair. The hummingbirds make the flowers dirty themselves just by, you know, foraging around. Look how beautiful it is outside. And you know, there's dust and dirt and the flowers get dusty. And when they come and they feed, you just don't see it on this that often, but you will see it on this. Let's see, this one doesn't have it yet, but this one does, I just moved it. Their beaks are dirty. So what that is, is dirt. So when you bring it in, just wash it off. I use a mascara brush with those or pipe cleaner and just wash them off. I see Gary, I see Gary. I saw Gary, he's down in his garden. He's doing something down there. Now I don't see him. He said he's working on trees. My neighbor messages us the other day. Oh, look, she sends pictures. There's deer all over the hillside. And I'm going, yay, and Gary's going, oh no. And he goes and runs down to his garden to see if his apple trees are left. They didn't chew his apple trees up yet. So he's trying to get those fenced. Oh, hello, oh, hi, oh, isn't that pretty? Let's see, a green banner from Connie Davison. So we'll have to figure out when's like a good time to do like coffee. I don't know, you know, because you're all in different places. Obviously we're all in different places. So I'll have to start trying to do that. Literally, I don't want to stay on that long because I really want to go and do some stuff. See, I'm starting, I'm just starting my seeds now. It's a little early, but this is zinnias. I have found out you can do zinnias anytime you want. I love this. You know how I do my seeds and tool. See? Now I can just lift it out. It's going to move them this morning, some of them. This lifts right out. Oh, look at the roots. You don't have to worry about the roots. You know, seedlings are resilient. You can just almost break them to pieces. You just don't want to damage their little new leaves. That's what you want to... Brenda, oh, I love the green banners. 
That is beautiful. Another member. So I'm going to start moving these out. And I just love that. Some people have asked, well, what happens when you break the roots on the bottom? Nothing. But you could just sit it on the table and the whole thing will fall apart. I can move even just two or three of them and then sit the whole thing back in a cup. I love that. So I'm going to do more. I need to get some more seeds. So Larry, you're from Alabama. It's cold. Oh, this is new. I don't remember seeing all these green banners. That's so pretty. Okay. Julianne. Thank you. Let's see. I think of Mary Jane. I love my chair garden too, and I'm changing it up. I, I really went out. I did that video, and I just put another one together that I think I got it scheduled for 4 o'clock today. I looked at it, and I thought, this is ridiculous. I'm trying to hold this straight. If, if I'm catching that much water in the buckets, then I'm overwatering. And I'd rather be making soil... And not catching that much water and just water less. So I'm changing that up. I'm going to change the rainbow garden up too. I'm going to do that until the rabbits come and eat up everything on the bottom. And I sit and cry and then change my mind. No, no, no. I can put a basket over it and get those 99 cent store trash can baskets. I could put a basket over it. I could put three stakes and wrap some tool around it. There's a lot of things I can do. Oh no, Matt, Dora, I don't know how you would pronounce that. Oh, I'll call you Matt. Oh no, I am so sorry. So your neighbor didn't like the birds. That's why I don't like neighbors. No, 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 I didn't say that. I don't have neighbors. I do, I don't have much neighbors to speak of. I am never, I'm born and raised in Los Angeles and I have never liked living in the middle of the city. I always wanted space. I think it was just, to me, it was crowded and I came out here, I've told the story, and I bought this house years ago and my mother walked out, looked, stepped out on the deck and started screaming, where's your neighbors? You don't have any neighbors. I said, that's right. That's why I didn't take her to show her I was buying this house. I don't want neighbors. I mean, neighbors, yes. I got a neighbor down there. I like my neighbor very, very much. He, I actually, I, li I, I like all my neighbors. I don't have a single neighbor around here I don't like. Even the big house on the hill that's being built, hopefully I'll like them. <laughs> so um, all in all, I love my neighbors over there. They're fantastic. So I'm very happy with neighbors. But yes, it's kind of hard when you're living in an apartment and you gotta, you do have to think about your neighbors and your friends and close by and you wanna kind of have some sort of peace. Isn't that beautiful? Let's see, I know I'm trying to read everything here. Um, Mary Jane, I think I got a lot of that. Okay, Sally, you may have to get different feeders. Hi, Sandra. Um, you, you may, okay, you like Matt, good. I, I like that too. <laughs> you may have to get different feeders because um, the, the wasp can't get into these cheap dollar ones. Believe it or not, I actually got a video of bees trying to get in there and they gave up. They're not gonna hang around all day trying. They can get into some of the first nature ones with the big holes, but the Walmart's got their own design, smaller holes, and they can't get in there. So you will have to kind of, if you've got a wasp problem, you may have to change things around. You really can't see much. And if I back up and you see less. That's a magnet, you've seen the video probably. No, don't be envious. You can do this. Believe you me. You know what? Some years back, we had no hummingbirds. And what I actually did originally, I'll take what I did. I don't know if you can see it. That's a flagpole holder. And I put a couple fishing rod holders out on the deck. And then I had fishing rods, because we don't go fishing anymore. We used to. And they were holding hummingbird feeders. And then the hummingbirds would fly by and they'd see them. And it all started there. I, should, I don't have any feeders out there right now. I took them in to clean them. I didn't put them back yet. I will. So I started feeding them off the deck. And then it was just a few. And then all of a sudden they built up. Well, they stay here now. They've got food. So a lot of them stay here. They have babies. And their babies stay here. And it's kind of like rabbits, you know. They multiply. Oh, Rock Kite Man. 2001, let's see my neighbors. Let's see. Let's 
I, I, you know, that would be good too. That, you know, Gary would like to live that way. Gary's almost a bushman. He used to tell me on holidays in Australia, he'd take off and go in the bush. I don't even know what that means. So maybe he's got a bush down there he can go climb under. I don't know, but he, he likes, he likes his privacy and likes, he doesn't like a lot of crowds. He used to go to Disneyland. The nectar, I have a pen and paper, good. It's really easy. It's a quarter of a cup of white granulated, see how many birds left? There's one there. A quarter of a cup of white granulated table sugar and one cup of water, that's it. And if you want it to melt quicker, cause it, it, it does um, get cloudy, the water. So you want it, I, what I do is, well, let's just say, take a half a cup of almost boiling, really hot water and take a half a cup of hot water, mix it in with the sugar, stir it up and then add a half a cup of cold water. And then you can put it out right away or you can make it the night before, do it the same way. A half a cup of hot water, into the sugar, stir it up until it's dissolved, and then add a half a cup of cold water. Wrap, okay, R-A-P-H-A-E-L-A -A -E from Europe. I know you don't have hummingbirds there, but you've got a lot of other beautiful birds. Lynette, let's see, the Canadian, I am a cab, Burring. Oh, you'll, it's not going to come out of my mouth, right? You can almost feel the heat. I know. So I hope that helps you. A quarter, it's a quarter to one. I What do I make? I make two cups of sugar. To eight cups of, two cups of sugar to eight cups of water. Is that right? Yes. And that's how I make mine every day. Over and over and over again. You know what's funny? I'll, there will be no birds here. And then I'll stick my head out the window and then they all come at me. There's a few up there right now. Well, they're not zipping. Well, I was trying to do a video and they were zipping in around my, oh, no, 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 I just saw a bee. I don't want a bee in the house. Um, they were zipping around my head and they were going through the two windows. See, I've got the screen rolled up. See how I did this? I literally made a screen that's on a, it's kind of on a bar and it rolls down. And then the same thing with that one. I cut the screen at first, then I came back and just made a new screen. It's quiet, I hear chickens. And only the sound of the hummingbirds. It's so nice. It's Sunday and it's quiet. It's so green outside. Oh, green. Look at the hillside. Can you see the hillside there? Let me see. Oh, I can zoom in. Look at the hillside. Of course, it's a nightmare for people to have to do weed abatement. Isn't that beautiful? That's why the deer are coming in. Look at the hillside there. I mean, it's just all green. It's so beautiful when it's like that. I don't know if I can get Gary to wave. I don't even know where he is. Gary? Gary? He's either ignoring me or he can't hear me. You want to step out and wave so they know you're, look at that, there he is. Okay, without me knocking anybody off, where is he? There he is, he's working. Beautiful day. So he was going to go out there and work. I'm going to go out there and work. I'm going to work on some totes. I did one yesterday and I figured just get the totes ready the way I want to plant in them, analyze better so I grow better, grow more things. I'm going to put more melons up against the wall. I get a lot of sun there. I have to think about my front yard now because I have 30, 40 foot pine trees <laughs> that are now covering. So isn't that beautiful? The orange trees, aren't they gorgeous? The orange trees, I planted that, oh, in 1989 and they did nothing. I planted them out the kitchen window thinking that they would smell so pretty and blow in the house. Well, they didn't do anything for years until Gary put wood chips down and Gosh, when did he do that? Not that long ago. And then they just took off. So they needed a little bit more. This, this is really not, hello, Elizabeth. We do have a nice uh, long growing season. It's just that sometimes, you know, you think spring is here and you get everything planted, you go outside and all of a sudden we have a freeze in April and we have to start over. 
a well, but you know, we can try. So Brenda, you get four hummingbirds every year. Well, one of those must be a female, so you should start getting more. I know you don't have hummingbirds in Europe. Hummingbirds are basically the Americas. They go all the way up to through Canada. They'll go to uh, Alaska. They go down to Central America and into South America. South, South America's got beautiful hummingbirds. I'm not complaining. I love our hummingbirds. Look at that. See, this is the quiet time. The sun is now here. See how sunny it is? And the sun's going to move. It still has to go up in the sky as we approach June. It will go up higher. And this time of the day, they're usually foraging around. And then they just come in quickly. Blue roses. Hello. Oh, how beautiful. See the members' little badges. Those are so cute. So they usually are foraging now. And then they're going to come in really heavy. Okay, is it Louvre? I always get this wrong, don't I? <laughs> Where's Gary when I need him? He knows everybody's name. Hello. But but anyways, they forage now out in the gardens and then come, you know, as the sun is setting, it just this window is black. Hello, Maria. Florida, you should have good weather, kind of, 8B. Diamond bar. I only have two or three now. Oh, now. But you'll get more. Uh, Mary, you'll get, Marianne, you'll get a lot more in diamond bar. I know exactly where diamond bar is. Oh, oh look at his mouth. Oh, wow. I wonder what that was about. She came over and she had sow thistle in her mouth, but she let go of the sow thistle and she's on the other side and she went to drink instead. I wonder what that was. She's still there. She let the sow thistle go. She took off. So she must have been going to build her nest. And then she came here. She was she was on this feeder right here. And she let the sow thistle go. And see how nature spread seeds. And they flew off. And then she went and got a drink. She'll just go back and get more. They build their nests with sow thistle. And I showed that on a lot of my videos. And it's so beautiful how they collect the sow thistle. Yes, they do feed. Um, Matt, they do feed from my hand. If I, if there's enough of them right now, there's not that many. Yes, I can put my hand down. I've got videos of that. I don't usually mess around with it. But yes, they will feed. With the dots that you make. I make these dots. And if there was a whole bunch, especially young ones, they will come. They're, gonna, they're looking to see, should we take from her? But, oh, look, he was looking. But uh, yes, they do feed from my hand. They'll feed as I'm putting the hummingbird feeders out. They'll be hanging on the feeders, and I haven't even put them out yet. Isn't that funny? So if I go out the window, see, there's Gary. See, we're spying on him. He's down there doing something. I'm not sure what he's doing. Down there working. I see a pool is empty down there. So he's doing something down there with that. He's just walking back and forth. He didn't, like I said, he didn't know I was going to go live. I wasn't planning on going live. But anyways, I completely forgot what I was talking about. So let me go back and see because I do this. I'll, I'll just get sidetracked with birds flying by. But yeah, if I hang out the window, then they all come back in. It's like, oh, she put something else out. Like I'm going to put something different out. I don't know. Elizabeth, hello. Let's see, Elizabeth, I'm in North... Oh. Okay, I'm not sure what that was. Uh, Toronto. Oh, you're cool. Evelyn. That's my mother's name. Maria, when you start to see the hummingbirds right now, it's, you're where, I forgot where you were. Um, they're probably not there yet. We don't even have the Orioles here yet. Let's see, we're just into February. 
I actually know they have like an exact date, kind of like the swallows going to San Juan Capistrano. There's a date they come in in March and it's like the 15th or something. So you probably don't have hummingbirds yet. But you'll know once you start seeing the hummingbirds, that's when you, oh, blue roses, 35 degrees. Then you'll, you'll know, you'll see one. And if you think they're around, the weather's starting to get good, then go ahead and just put one out with a little bit of food in it. Oh, that is, that is cool, Rocket. Oh. Hi, little sparrow, 100. Yeah, it's probably too cold. Just to kind of wait and see if they show up soon. I think it's going to be another, at least another month or two. Hummingbirds are aggressive, and it's usually the males. There's not much you can do. I, sometimes I even have a male come and take over that one. But then when you've got like a thousand hummingbirds, there's no way he, they can fight off that many. So then they give up. The other thing is blinkers or blinders. You put something up where they can only see the one feeder. So if there was a, a wall and he couldn't see over here, then he's not going to know. So you, you can separate the feeders that way. And that does work. You went across the hill. You can actually see the hummingbirds. They'll come and feed, and you'll see them go all the way across the hill. Uh, let's see. So, Matt, bye. Okay, I'm going to go in a few minutes, too. I didn't want to stay on this long because it's such a beautiful day. I am going to go work in the garden. I wanna get some totes set up, I've got ideas. Uh, Evelyn, I don't put nesting material out. I let them collect from nature. Um, right now they're building. I have not, I think I saw one, but they're just starting. You'll see they have sow thistle in their mouth, so they're getting ready. But we do have nests everywhere, uh, especially in another month, I'll be walking through and all of a sudden you'll see a, a nest in a tree. But they're so tiny that a lot of times you miss them. It's amazing. I had one on the deck I didn't even know was there. And then I looked up and they had babies and I didn't even see it. It was so tiny, just tucked on a piece of wire. La Cake Maker. Hello. Hi. Lady Patriot, Patriot, ah, uh, Patriot, uh, 209, thank you. Your spell check messed up. My spell check sends all kind of, kinds of stuff. I was sending a text to my granddaughter and I told the phone no, and it sent her no. So believe you me, I know about that. So what am I going to do this week? That's what I'd like to do. Have coffee with members and say, I'm going to the thrift store today. I'm going to a 99 cent store today. Um, I'm going to go look for this. I'm going to look for that. I ordered some more solar fountains already. And I've got my hummingbird feeder. So I've ordered enough from Walmart. They, they raised their price. It was like $3.80 and now it's $4.00. 40 or something, but they're still worth it. I mean, th these feeders last for years. They're really good feeders and they're made in the United States too, but they really do <coughs> wait, last for years. Sorry about the coughing. Jamie's Country Living. Oh, please. <coughs> oh, no, 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 no. I think I'm going to go to the thrift store this week. I want to look for more bowls. I want to look for trash cans. I was disappointed with the 99 cent store. They didn't have a single trash can. I wanted to make some more flower planters because I'm planting all these zinnias and flowers. And they didn't have any trash cans. Dollar Tree's gone, so I'm going to go back to Dollar Tree. At least I got my hummingbird feeders from the 99 cent store. 
I don't think Gary's gonna come up, say hello. He's working. He's taking advantage of the nice, warm, beautiful day. Yeah, I have shared, I've got, I don't have a link right now under this. If you go to almost any of my videos, you'll see the link where I get my, my solar fountains. I still buy them off of eBay. You can buy them, if you've got an Amazon account, go ahead and buy them anywhere you want. If you go into um, sometimes garden centers and stores, they're like $35, but if you go on the eBay, they're still like 10. I have seen them go up to 40 and $50 in the late spring, early summer, because well, you know, people are buying, so they know they can get the money. I think I just bought two of them for like 10 bucks a piece, and I already set one up in my bird garden. But the reason I like eBay was, I used to sell a lot on eBay, and eBay is fantastic for the buyer. They're not that good to the seller sometimes. And so if it comes, if it's broke, if it's not good, if you didn't get it on time, they'll give you back your money. So I, I do buy from eBay. I don't sell on eBay anymore, not for any particular reason, but I don't have time. But um, I do like buying on eBay. And you can really look around there and get really good prices. So just kind of check the prices out. Sometimes if you buy two, you get you know some money off. Don't buy anything that says it's gonna take two, three, four weeks to get there. That means it's not coming from here. It will be coming from somewhere else. And I prefer to get the ones that are here in the United States already. Oh, they all flew off. Because then you'll get it quicker. And that's, I want something that tells me I'm going to get it within the week. So I've had luck with that. Julianne, hello. Yeah, look on eBay. It, I think you'll, you'll be happy with it. Check out any of the videos and there should be a link underneath. I put the, it's called an affiliated link. I think because I list it, I think I get some pennies off of it. It doesn't matter to me. Buy wherever you want to buy. But I personally like eBay. I have bought from Walmart once. Years and years ago, I bought some from Walmart, but uh, online. So it came from, probably came from China. I don't know. But the, that was the first time, I think. Now I just buy from eBay. And they are going to be made overseas over, the, over there um, because they don't make them here. I've had some people say, oh, yes, you can buy them from somebody in New York. It looks like he's in the house. <laughs> I, but let me tell you something. I actually spoke to the company in New York, and then they didn't want to talk to me anymore because I found out. They were buying from overseas and trying to say it was from them, but they weren't making it. So, oh, good, you got five. Oh, I bought two, and I think I'm going to buy some more. I've got a couple now that are, oh, three, four years old, and they don't pump that good, and they're full of hard water, and I started scraping them up. Don't throw them away because you can take them apart and use the parts if you ever needed parts. But I'm going to replace a couple of them. But they last for years. If you don't have hard water, and we have terrible hard water, um, then it will last even longer. Isn't that cute? You can't see him. He's going to sit on the other side. Kellyanne, hello. Oh, you got yours from the link. You're, thank you. That's Jamie's Country Living. I got mine from the link, too. <laughs> Isn't that cute? You know how this is on? This is on with a magnet. See, I took the window apart. The window's not here. I lifted out the glass and I've got that magnet there. Ronco used to sell the mega cleaners and I can put a feeder on there. This is just something from the 99 cent store. I don't think I can stick it out the window. Let's take a look. See, this is like one of these, I don't know if you can see it because I can't see, so I hope you can see it. This is like, here, let's go this way. It's a stake and you're supposed to put it in your garden it's got a little hummingbird. So I, maybe it hangs. I twisted it and bent the wire up. So now it's holding hummingbird feeder, see? And then I bent the bottom so it will pull it away. I can do this here, hold on. See, I can pull it away from, whoops, the window. And now it's hanging there. And then this is a magnet and there's a magnet on both sides and it's holding there, see? I duct taped it on today. So now I can put, I'm trying to sit down without missing the chair. Um, I can put feeders there too. And I went with the smaller feeders because they're lighter.
Hello, Mother Wisdom. Aren't they cute? They are just too cute. And this is why I don't get as much done as I want to get done. Alice, hello. Of course, they've been doing that. What they do is they fly in this window and they fly out. I, You don't need to see my messy house, but real quick. See, I've got a netting. I put that up. I think it's been almost two years. That's actually not a netting. It's tool. See the tool? That's tool. And it's tacked on to the to the kitchen ceiling. And then it goes all the way around. All the way around. And then it goes to the floor. And so if they fly in, they can't go anywhere. So they can't go into the house when this is open. I think I, let me just make sure. Okay, I wanna make sure the camera was set right. So they do come in periodically if the feeders, like one time the feeders ran out, they actually were flying through my doggy door and coming into the house. So they haven't done that for a while, thank goodness. But this, yeah, they'll fly in and then they'll fly through the window and go from to the window this way. I don't want them in the house. You do not want them in the house. It's not fun. Think of it this way. The food that goes in comes out the same way. That's why you don't want them in the house. If you know anything about lorikeets or lorries, that's the type of parrot, it's like that. It goes in the same way. And as fast as they're drinking is as fast as it's coming out. Is that Javier? Um, J A V I E R. Oh, I have not had one, thank goodness, that I've ever seen crash into the window. They seem to see very well and know where the window is. But yes, I know that a lot of birds can do that. I think Gary's coming. Yes, blue roses were, were okay. And you know what I get sometimes? A coughing spell, which is very annoying. So I have a glass of water in case I need, which doesn't help. That's why I ordered lollipops. I figured if I'm going to go out and go shopping, I'm gonna carry some lollipops with me and I feel like I'm gonna get a coughing spell, then I'll just use a lollipop. You don't wanna be coughing with a cough drop in your mouth, so I can pull a lollipop out of my mouth. All my lollipops came, here, come in. There's no place, you can move my feeders no, that are. I'm going to get something to eat. That's, I already did too. Look, the key, my lollipops. But why is she ordering such junk food? Because right now, I need it. And that's what I was saying. Sorry about that. You can... You know what? They smashed my lollipops, Gary. A lot of them are broke. Did they heave it over the fence? No. Oh. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I can eat the broken ones, too. And see, this will be something I can carry on me. And I wouldn't walk around with a stick out of my mouth. But, I mean, I can take it out if I want it. I can wrap it up. Okay, it's just a couple of them broke. I figured I didn't feel like cough drops. Let's see. Beatrice, hello from Maryland. Oh, 37 degrees. I feel for you. Now, you know, if you were telling my daughter, she would go, Oh, wow, that's cool. And she'd mean it in a very, very good way. She loves the cold weather. I don't like the cold weather. I never have. And that little bee better go out or I'll be running through the house screaming. Yes, that hummingbird. I look, look at him and I wanted to clean his beak off. He's got something on it and there's no way to catch him. Gary, I got a bee in the house. Are you gone? I'm eating. You're eating. Gary's eating. Is there a plane? I don't know if you can see the plane up there. You probably can't. That bee better find his way out. I think he did. No, he didn't. I still hear him. I don't want him to get angry at me is what it is. Like, oh, she trapped me in the house. I'm going to sting her.
See, the bees will come and check out the feeders, and as long as they can't get in, we're good. You don't want them to get in. And when they do get in, and they do start to bother them, then I swap the feeders out. I just use different feeders when the bees are bothering them, then the bees go away, and then I go back to the regular feeders that I like. All right, so we've been on for 40 minutes. There's 78 of you there, wow. And I'm going to get some stuff done. See, I've got the sun in the window right now. That's why I can't put a camera out there because the sun, this is a south facing wall and it gets a lot of sun and my camera gets hot. So. You understand why people retire in Florida. Florida is cheaper than in California. If you, uh, Kelly, if you've got a, a huge problem with bees, get these feeders. Now, I made the holes bigger. Don't make the holes bigger. I used a, a little, like a knitting needle. A hot, no, I actually used a soldering iron on that. I made the holes bigger. I don't have any here. Yes, I do. Hold on, let me switch hands. It's dusty. This is how they come. Look how dusty this is. See how tiny the slits are? The bees can't get in there. So you can get that from Walmart. They're $4 feeders and they work fantastic. But what I do is I make the holes bigger for, the hummingbirds like the holes bigger. Sometimes they won't use the feeders with the little slits. So just don't make them bigger and I have to do the same thing. You dislike the cold. I don't blame you. I don't, I've never, never liked the cold weather. I've always loved the heat. I mean, there were times I thought about moving out to the desert, Palm Springs. See, we just had a hummingbird fly through. Because I really like the heat, but I'm here, so I plan on staying here. As long as I can stay here, I'll stay here. Seems like every year I add more and more feeders. It started with one feeder with a hummingbird nesting here. Then with them, when the hummingbird nested, I had to add a second feeder. Then I added a couple more, and I think at times I've got a dozen feeders just on this one window. And then with this contraption I put up, the, the end of the year, I can get a couple more feeders. See, they're quarreling a little. Those are Rufus back there and they're, they're nasty little hummingbirds, the males. Gary, I have an angry bee in the house. A very angry, it's probably yours. The bees aren't as smart as the hummingbirds. the bee you need to put a cup over it and a piece of paper and then get it. he's he's on the corner there uh, on the glass he's on he's inside the window desperately trying to get out if you had a glass and a piece of paper you can just put, put him in the right direction you gonna do it now Oh, do it with I a clear glass. So. A clear glass, you can see. How are you going to do that? It went up. He goes up and down. He goes up and down. They're not real smart. They come in, and then they don't know how to get out. Hummingbirds, no. They just fly all over the place. I would put a glass over him, slide a piece of paper underneath, and then toss him out the window. Do we have a lot of earthquakes? Ooh. We do, but we haven't had really any lately, <laughs> so we don't want earthquakes. There are hummingbirds building nests. Are there babies out there? They probably are. There probably are babies because I had them once build a nest on the kitchen window, and that was in December, and they had babies in January. So if the weather's good, they do, but I don't know where any are yet. Are you coming through? I thought you were coming through. Uh, it's from Alice, Kellyanne. Oh, 
We're all sitting here quiet. Jacqueline. I don't know what happened to it. Do you see it? Where are you? Yeah, it's, um, it's all the way up to the top. No, he's there. Well, it came back down. I'm he looking. goes up, and you're, if you get stung on camera, don't scream. <laughs> I won't scream. You don't have a piece of paper. I don't need a piece of paper. You need a piece of paper. Oh, for goodness sakes. This is not going to work. A piece of paper, and then you just direct them out. You're going to have one angry bee that's going to turn around and sting me. And the channel will be Robbie Gardening Easy. I told you, a piece of paper. If he turns around and comes after me, he's trying to guide. Did you do it? Yep. Oh, he's out the window. Okay. Hello, David. David Button. Oh, thank you, Linda. Yes, we, we're doing better. It takes time. Have my little coughing spells once in a while, but that's basically it. I am gardening. As long as the weather stays warm, I'll be really good. Okay, we're going to hit an hour soon. R-A-P-H-A-E-L-A. -A -E Cheerio. Hello. Uh, okay, I am actually going to go work in the garden. See, there's no hummingbirds. See, they all kind of disappear at the same time. It's funny. I'll see no hummingbirds, and then I'll get up and I'll start messing around with the feeders. Let's say, okay, there's a feeder there and there. Let's see. Oh, this one's empty. And then there's there. And there's one there. So where are you guys? See, they've got the whole hillside. They're in the tree, that avocado tree. But as soon as I stick my head out the window, they start coming. It's like, oh, she's putting more food out. You can see them all over the place. All right. Well, I'm going to wish everybody a wonderful, wonderful day. Good luck with the broccoli. Oh, I've got broccoli growing. I've been bringing that in. I'll see you all later. You, I would love sitting for hours. Yeah. So would I, but I, I actually want to take advantage of this beautiful, beautiful day. I mean, it is gorgeous out there. Look at that. Sky is blue. You can see across the hill. It's not too much smog. <laughs> it's just, see, there's some house benches up there in the tree. So they're probably waiting, where are they? I don't even see them. They're probably waiting for me to go in the bird garden and go put seed out. It's just gorgeous. It is It is a beautiful, beautiful day. And I wanted to kind of share that with you. Take a break. And now I'm going to go back to work. Gary, do you want to say goodbye? Goodbye. He's yelling goodbye. Okay, he's yelling goodbye. He's He is grating ginger to make a tea. I can hear it. So everybody have a great... See, now they're coming in. Okay. You guys, you all left, and now you're coming back slowly. This place, will, like I said, this window will be just black with hummingbirds. Oh, around 5 o'clock. They come in just before it gets dark, and they try to load up. Okay, so everybody have a wonderful day. Goodbye, Maria. Goodbye, everybody. Love seeing the green banners from the members. And I guess that's it. I'm going to go in the garden, and I'm going to go set up another tote. And I've got a video that goes up, I think, at 4 o'clock in the next couple hours. Have a great day. Don't forget to eat what you grow. And don't forget, if you're looking for hummingbird feeders, go check out your dollar stores right now. Bye-bye.